Charlton Heston. I'd like to introduce you to a wonderful story called Jonah and the Whale. There's a passage in the Episcopal Book of Common Prayer which reads, Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid. That message lies at the heart of the story of Jonah. It's a story about a man who tries foolishly to run away from God after the Lord sends him on a mission. Indeed, if there is one recurring theme in the Bible, it's that God is everywhere and is aware of every human thought. Other biblical characters learn this the hard way, just as Jonah did. After Adam eats the forbidden fruit in the Garden of Eden, for example, he too tries to hide from the Almighty. He's quickly discovered. There's a crucial difference, though, between Jonah and Adam. Jonah is given a second chance, and that's the other important theme of this story. The God of the Old Testament may be quick to punish man, but he's generally willing to forgive those who repent. The story, as told here, begins when Jonah is just a boy, living in fear of a foreign kingdom known as Assyria. As the Assyrian army embarks on a reign of terror against the Israelites, young Jonah's hatred of these invaders grows deeper, and he vows that he will someday take revenge. But God has other plans for Jonah. One day, as he's traveling along a road outside of town, Jonah sees a powerful flash of lightning. At first, he thinks it's just a thunderstorm, but then he hears a voice calling his name. After a few moments, he realizes it is God. Then God speaks again. Go and tell the people of Nineveh that they will be destroyed unless they change their evil ways. Jonah agrees to do as God's instructed him. He's initially elated that God has called on him, but then he realizes the meaning of what God's asked him to do. The Lord wants him to help save the people of Nineveh, the capital of Assyria. He decides that he simply can't do it. His hatred of the Assyrians is far too deep, and so he resolves to run away. He flees to a port city called Joppa, and boards a ship for a foreign land. But shortly after the ship gets underway, a great storm begins, putting the vessel in peril. Jonah realizes that God is responsible for the storm and that it's directed at him. Admirably, he admits this to his shipmates. They have no choice, he says, but to throw him overboard. Now, the sailors are good men. They're reluctant to send Jonah to his death, but in the end, they realize they have no choice. Jonah does not drown, of course. God sends a giant fish to swallow him up, and for three days, he lives in terror inside the fish's belly. Finally, he cries out to God, begging for forgiveness, and God hears his plea. But Jonah is not off the hook. God still wants him to travel to Nineveh and to persuade the Assyrians to give up their sinful ways. This time, Jonah carries out his mission and he's successful. The Assyrians repent. While Jonah knew that this was his goal, he's surprised and somewhat disturbed by his own success. Deep down, he still hates the Assyrians. He's saddened that God has forgiven them. Now, you might expect that this would make God angry, but the Lord, as depicted in this story, is very patient indeed. Jonah, he says, when will you find mercy and forgiveness in your heart? God, of course, already knows the answer to his own question. After all, he can see into Jonah's heart. He knows that in time, Jonah's hatred will pass away and will be replaced by love for his fellow man. It's a marvelous ending indeed. But now, let's go back to the beginning. Your guides, as you travel back to Jonah's time, will be my friend Simon and his trusty camel. You'll be meeting them in a few minutes, but it's time for me to say goodbye. I'll see you again soon. Until then, peace be with you.
long time ago, there was a young man called Jonah who lived in a small village in northern Israel. When he was very young, something happened to him that made him so mad. Well, it's like this. to attack Jonah's people. Why, God, why? Year after year, the Assyrians destroy our land, our people, our homes. And now Malachi and Sarah's stable. Jonah, it was our stable, not yours they burned. Now, stop your brooding and come and eat. Malachi, look at this mess. I I'm so angry, aren't you? If you two don't come in right now, the food will burn too. <laughs> we're coming, we're coming. <laughs> well, at least they didn't steal you. <laughs> One day, I will show them. You always say that. But it won't solve anything. Sarah, how can you say that? After the way they made us suffer. I don't want to talk about it. Now eat. Try this, Jonah. It's from Joppa. The ships from Tarshish brought new spices and fruits. Joppa? That's miles away from here. Sarah, how did you get it so fresh? I have my sources. Now eat, both of you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Jonah, you're right. We must stop the Assyrians before they stop us. And I want to tell you something. That's right. <laughs> and I do not want to die like my poor father without tasting some real vengeance. Quiet down. Who could that be? Come in! <laughs> no! Jonah? Yes, it's me. 
Let me join your forces. I want to overthrow the Assyrians, too. Welcome, Jonah, son of Amittai. God bless you, sir. Our plans are good, but we cannot defeat all the Assyrians at once. It will take a lot of commitment. They are a large, fierce empire. What about the people of Nineveh? They are Assyrians. Nineveh? They are the worst. The whole city is corrupt. Yes, Nineveh, the enemy. Yes, we've got to we agree. Let us give thanks to God. Yes, God is on our side. Oh. Nineveh was the capital of Assyria. It was a big city located to the north of Jonah's village in Judea. <laughs> so, did you kill everyone? Oh, yes, Your Highness. No one was left standing. Not man, woman, child, or beast. <laughs> Even you couldn't get away from me. You are my best soldier. At your service, Your Highness. <laughs> Drat! Games, whoever you are. Jonah, it is I. G God? Yes. I, I must be dreaming. No, you are not dreaming. It is I. Uh, 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 oh. Well, uh, sir, sir, uh, what is your wish? I am your humble servant. Go and tell the people of Nineveh that they will be destroyed unless they change their sinful ways. Jonah? Jonah, are you listening? Oh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I, I was just so... I know this is unexpected, but you mustn't be so dumbstruck. No, sir. I, I mean, yes, sir. You must warn them, Jonah, or they will be destroyed. It is up to you. Yes. Yes, I will. I will. Thank you, God. Oh, thank you for shedding your light on me. I have been chosen by God. Can you believe it? It's too good to be true. I have been chosen by God. God wants me to warn the people of Nineveh? Warn them? But they deserve to be destroyed. I can't warn them. I just can't. Oh, it 
It's against everything I believe. Oh, what am I gonna do? in for the night. You can't run from God, Jonah. I'm not! Did you say something? Huh? Uh, uh no. No, nothing. <sighs> well, there she is. The town of Joppa, gateway to the world. You'll have to walk down from here. Good luck in Tarshish! I'm looking for a boat to Tarshish. Over there. They'll be leaving soon. <laughs> Sailing to Tarshish with us. Tarshish? Yes! Me Vishnu. them in Tarshish. Lots of money. They're so colorful. I had some doves when I was a boy, but... But? They flew away. Flew away! Flew away! Flew away! Welcome, my friend, to the best ship in the world. Is she seaworthy? Worthy of the sea, she be. <laughs> So many different lands. And where are you from? I'm an Israelite. I'm from Africa. We come from different lands. But on this boat, we all work together. Shall we unfurl the sail, Captain? Go to it, sailor! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
food, my friend? The night is young and the journey long. No, thanks. I think I'll go down below and rest. Then sleep well, my friend. Sleep well. unless you throw me overboard. No, we can't do that. You must, or we'll all drown. We will try and get to the shore and leave you there.
we have no choice! God must be very powerful. He rules the wind and sea. Let us pray for Jonah, wherever he is. <gasps> Look, a dove! It is a very good sign. His God must be very merciful. I'd be careful. 
careful of that stuff if I were you. It's lethal. Well, what's it made of? Hate. Hate? If you're not careful, it'll eat away at you until you plain old disappear. But I've learned my lesson. I think I have. Thank you, God, for saving me. Thank you. Jonah. Is that you, God? Of course. And I'm asking you again. Go to Nineveh and warn them that they will be destroyed if they do not change their ways. Yes, God. I will. I won't let you down this time. God has said the people of Nineveh will be destroyed unless they change their ways. After three days, Jonah finally reached the outskirts of the Assyrian capital of Nineveh. This is our best bet. We would come from the opposite direction, so the Israelites would not be expecting us. Then we would attack. And defeat the Israelites again! Good. I have heard there is gold beneath their simple dwellings. Gold for us. Nineveh, beware! In 40 days you will be destroyed! Repent! It's mine! It is not! I found it first! You are trying to steal it from me! The people of Nineveh will be destroyed! Stop! 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 Listen! You are trying to trick me! No, I'm not! No, no, listen! Listen to what he's saying! God is angry at the people of Nineveh! If you do not repent, he will destroy you! Did you hear that? We have offended God. Please, you take it. The camel is yours. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. You, you take it. It's yours. Let's share it. Good idea. Oh, the people of Nineveh. Look at them. Why does God show them mercy? Thieves, murderers, greedy villains. And now, only when God says he will destroy them, do they repent. <sighs> and I must warn them, because God told me to. <laughs> well, perhaps they won't repent, 
And God will destroy them after all. Yes, yes, that's what he had in mind all along. Hear ye, hear ye! God has said the people of Nineveh will be destroyed if they do not repent and change their ways. <laughs> you seem unusually happy today. I am. Soon you will be richer than ever, my dear wife. Oh, good. I'm getting tired of these old jewels. <coughs> Clumsy fools! But your highness, please! What? You dare speak to me? Take them away and lock them up. My dear, how do you like this one? It is exquisite. Believe me, there will be thousands more like it. As we speak, our wonderful army prepares to invade the South. We will defeat those Israelites once and for all. How divine. The people of Nineveh will be destroyed! What? How dare ye! Arrest that man at once! Gather my ministers together. <coughs> The people of Nineveh. Who are you? And who gave you such authority to say these things? Well, speak up. God told me to warn the people of Nineveh to change their ways, or they will be destroyed. Destroyed? He is lying to you. He is a spy sent from the Israelites. Hmm, we shall see. God sent you, eh? Why should I, an Israelite, want to warn the people of Nineveh of this? I am doing God's will. <laughs> Quiet down. Shh. 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 Keep it down. Shh. 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 I believe you. But if I find out you are lying, I will have you killed. Bring me the battle plans. If God is unhappy with us, then we must change our ways. And ask God for mercy. Nineveh. Many of you have heard this young man deliver God's warning. We must change our ways and obey God better and ask his mercy. As a sign of our repentance, everyone will fast and wear sackcloth. Why must we wear sackcloth, Papa? Because it is the sign of true repentance. Enter. Your Highness, the sackcloth. C come back here. Tell me, have I been too harsh as queen? Uh, your Highness, I wonder. Pass me the sackcloth. Tell the guard to release my servants from prison. <gasps> yes, Your Highness. Thank you. Father, 
God can't show them mercy. He just can't. Fear not. Because you have repented, I will be merciful. <laughs> I want to die. Jonah. What about my people? Don't we deserve revenge for our suffering? Jonah, you mustn't be so angry. Does that mean that Nineveh will still be destroyed? Hello? Answer me! I will wait until God changes his mind. Uh, it's so hot. There's no shade. I, I wish I could have some shelter. And I'm so tired. Wonderful. Where did you come from? Oh, now I feel good. I'm shielded from the hot sun by this beautiful plant. And at any moment, the people of Nineveh might be destroyed. Jonah, you still have not learned mercy, have you? Alas, I must teach you another lesson. Yes, little worm. Do your job as I have commanded. Oh, no. Oh, my beautiful plant. What happened to you? What destroyed you? What ugly thing killed you? How awful. <laughs> it's so bright. It's, it's blinding me. Jonah, when will you learn? You cry over the death of one plant, and yet you wish destruction of an entire city full of innocent people, children who are not old enough to even walk. Jonah, when will you find mercy and forgiveness in your heart? Mercy? Me? Yes, Jonah, you. Where do you live, child? Somewhere in Nineveh. Don't cry. I'll take you home. Would you like to hear a story while we walk? What's it about? <sighs> about a man who ends up inside the belly of a giant fish. And Jonah finally learned to let go of his hate. <laughs>